Hey, I'm still not feeling terrific, but it is that time of the week. So, I'm going to make it a quick one, but here comes Sunday, March 7th's weekly wrap-up. Is there anybody out there that still actually has a home phone? And if it is, is it AT&T or some local company that's other than uh, voice over IP? If that's the case, then it's time you need to switch. And if you're on voice over IP, we've all heard of Vonage, we've all heard or used Skype. Most people have placed calls through Yahoo Messenger. And Yahoo to Yahoo is free, Skype to Skype is free, Vonage to Vonage is free. If you want to make calls from any one of those to a landline, you've got to pay. Vonage requires a monthly subscription anyway. Just it's free. You don't use minutes if you call Vonage to Vonage. Uh, well, all these people, though, they require money out of you. How would you like to have home phone service to anywhere in the United States and not pay a dime? A company called UMA. They've been around for over a year. Uh, I'm just now getting some answers out of how this works. Um, Umatello is their box. It's a looks like a Vonage voice over IP box. You plug the internet into that box, you plug your phone into that box, you pick up the phone and you make a phone call. End of story. That's it. The box is $250. After that, you don't pay anything for it for the rest of your life. You get call waiting, caller ID, um, 911 services. You get all the things that you absolutely have to have out of it. Um, voicemail. Now, if you want to forward it to other calls, you want to get your voice, other numbers, you want to get your voicemail as WAV files in your email, you want to do three-way call conferencing. If you want the bells and whistles, you could pay $10 a month. That's it. If you buy the box and you pay the $10 a month uh, all at once at $119 a year, then they'll even port your old phone number over for nothing, and they'll give you a free handset as well, which is worth $50. So, it's two fifty for the box. Pay three seventy. You're covered for the year. You get your old phone number and you get a phone. Otherwise, you pay two fifty for the box. You use your own phone. Uh, you get get whatever number they give you for nothing, and you use the service. It doesn't seem reasonable, I know, but it is totally free. The box probably cost them fifty eight dollars to make. They sell for two hundred and fifty dollars. They make their profit there. They're hoping enough people are gonna get suckered into this premium service and they make their money there. Other than that, though, it's absolutely free. Just got to crack that $250 nut out of the gate. Uh, you pay for that, and you're all set. Uh, I, I don't have one at the moment, but I look at paying $31 a month for Vonage, and uh, I'm considering making the Umatello move here in the near future. If I do, I'll let you know how it works out. Well, nobody's called me a fanboy in about four days, so let me review an Apple product. So I just bought an iMac, a 27-inch iMac, over the weekend. Um, my MacBook started to drop dead. Uh, then I can't make these videos, and I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. Plus, you know, it's my only machine is my MacBook. It's coming up on three years old. It's tax time. Uh, you know, I do schoolwork also. I, I need a machine I can count on. I was going to get a 21-and-a-half-inch iMac. But for $200, I could jump to 27 and double from 500 gigs to a terabyte of hard drive space. So I figured, what the hell? It's only money. Anyway, that's the thing we're going to tell you about. It's an iMac. It's huge. It's gorgeous. We know this. Whatever. If, you, if you're a fanboy like me, I guess, you'll love it. If you're part of the Windows camp and you're an Apple hater, you'll hate it. So either you love it or you hate it. You already know that. But what I do want to talk to you about is their new Magic Mouse. Um, this is the brand new mouse that they've been pushing to replace the Mighty Mouse, which was a gigantic piece of shit. Uh, the only purpose this thing serves, uh, the old one, would be if you maybe saw Steve Jobs and you wanted to get his attention and threw it at him. Um, that's about all I could see. Maybe you'd want to tie it to a string and take it to a shooting range. It's not heavy enough to be a paperweight or a boat anchor. So I'm not really sure what... The Mighty Mouse is supposed to be used for, but it can't be used as a mouse. 
these batteries very quickly. It had a little wheel, not a wheel, a ball on the top of it. It was supposed to go, you know, 360 degrees, um, which it did. It just didn't actually do anything when it did that. It just rolled all over the place and nothing moved on your screen. It got dirty. You couldn't take it out. You couldn't clean it. It, it was just an absolute misery. It was that white plastic that Mac uses on everything that, you know, after just one day of using it, you know, you get all just sweat and oils from your hand builds up in this disgusting gunk on the mouse. It was just, just a terrible thing. So they got this guy now. Um, it's, it's a lot cooler. I, I do have a couple of beefs with it, but it's pretty cool. Um, so it's real sleek. You can see, uh, basically the way it works is if you just, it's got gesturing. So as you're, as you're holding it, you know, you just run your finger up and down and you'll scroll up and down a page like that. If I hold uh, a key on the keyboard, I think the command key or the control key and I swipe up, the whole thing zooms in. I can scroll left and right. If I use two fingers and I go left and right, it'll actually navigate within Safari, you know, back a page, forward a page. It's actually really very cool for that. Uh, a couple things that it's missing or whatever that I don't like about it. No buttons on the side. That was the one thing. The Magic Mouse, the Mighty Mouse, had going for it. Had side buttons. You could squeeze those buttons to uh, bring up Expose, which is a really handy thing, which shows all your windows. Uh, and then, if you can see, see the edge of that. It's not really contoured very well, so what you're looking at is when you hold this, you get this edge, and the whole thing clicks. So, you know, if you're like me and you sit in front of the computer for 10 hours a day, you know, you're, you're rubbing and you're clicking and it just actually really cr becomes an irritant on your finger. Um, I, I know it sounds like I'm bitching, but, you know, they had a knife, the Ma, Mighty Mouse, I can't even think. The Mighty Mouse was rounded and smooth and this thing has uh, got an edge and it basically sucks for that. But the gesturing is really cool. Uh, it powers down and it's not in use, so you don't have to worry about running through batteries very often. Apple's nice enough to actually put batteries in it when you get it. So... Um, there you go. There's your Kool-Aid for the week for all you Microsoft lovers out there. You know, whatever. I just bought Linda a Windows-based netbook that I'm going to steal from her because I love it. Because I'm a Windows hater. Whatever. I'm just tired of hearing you guys with all that crap. So, anyway, you know, if, you, if you're in the market, if you got a Mac and you're in the market, you definitely uh, pick up a Magic Mouse. Update your Mighty Mouse. It's, it's well worth the price. So I told you that I had a, a twist for the giveaway coming up here. So check this out. I only got about 28 guesses, which is not nearly enough. There's huge gaps in the numbers. Uh, 28 on, on a pool of 1 to 1,000. I guess I expected huge amounts of people to run out and guess for a free iPod Nano. So here's what we're going to do. Surprise, surprise. Everybody who's guessed, go ahead and take four more. That's right. Five guesses per person. Let's narrow this up. Let's make it a competition. Everybody get on this. New guessers, go ahead and submit me five all at once. That's right. Even if everybody submits right now, they're extra four. Uh, we're only looking at just a little under a third of the total number pool. So let's try to close this gap, get more people. Five guesses apiece. Now, if you're interested in which numbers have already been guessed, guess what else? Uh, I'm not going to keep up with it constantly. But as of right now, there is somewhere that you can go to see which numbers are guessed, okay? And the link should be popping up right here, right about now. So go ahead and check that out. Click on, well, you can't click on it, but go ahead and go to that link, and you will be able to see which numbers are guessed. All right? So good luck to everybody, and we'll see how this goes. Close the gap, have some competition, have some fun with it. All right? Uh, I'm going to go uh, lay back down and try not to die. So anyway, guys, uh, have a good week. And uh, I'll talk to you uh, next Sunday, Big the Geek, every week.